Well, to be honest, I really wasn't too familiar with it until you know I got the call and uh, I went back and looked, took a look at a prior edition and to see the type of profiles and uh, you know seeing some of the Army greats and where they're at now is uh, certainly a very good company to be in. Wow, it, it's it set the foundation for me in so many ways uh, with my family, with my work, uh, with you know things that I just pick up coaching along the way. You know, I learned a lot of great things here, obviously about leadership and working together and being about team, and it's certainly something I've extended into my personal life. Well, it's, it's been a little tough. My, uh, my son was a college basketball player and is just finishing up this year, so uh, for the last four years I've been chasing him across New England, so I haven't had too many opportunities to get down here, but you know, I do keep in touch with a lot of former players that keep, keep eyes on the program, and being in the area, I'm able to follow through the paper and online a little bit, and uh, when I can, I like to get up, and this year I think I was up to three games, so, uh, but I, I like where Coach Spiker has the program and, and the way the kids are playing, and uh, it's been a great resurrection for Army basketball under his tenure. Well, this is, you know, I've, I'm part of the Army basketball family, and that's how I always viewed Army basketball in my time here and beyond. It's, you know, it's one big extended family, and to be part of what's going on now uh, from, from when I left, is, it's a great thrill for me. And uh, to see them you know, rebuild and, and draw that success that we've been missing for a long time uh, has been a real plus for, for me as a spectator.